Sensei hasn't really taught much of Econ Zero out. What I originally got as um, Econ back in, I want to say 90, 98 or something like this, uh, I've later found out it's mostly Asayama Ichiden Yu, which most of you probably haven't heard of, maybe a couple in here have. Asayama Ichiden Yu is one of the, is a samurai school kind of thing that has a lot of extraneous movements <laughs> that they do. But it's still, they taught it as it. Uh, they taught the three of us in the, there's only three people that knew about it in, I think it was like 97, 98 in the US that they gave a certain bunch of things to and said, oh yeah, this is Geekon. Like, okay. So we're gonna play with it. So it'll be mostly Asayama Ichiden Yu ish stuff. Uh, Kukishin, Kukishin, there's a lot of kooky, kooky, kooky schools. There's Hontai Kukishin Ryu, there's, there's Kukishin Den Ryu, there's Kuki Ryu, there's all these different things. Hatsumi Sensei is the soke of one of them. There are other sokes of Kukishin, but they do different movements. It's not like the Bujin Kan. So, but Kukishin is where um, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, and Aikido all come from. So, it's tossing the crap out of each other. <laughs> Straight down. Gikan, what I know as being Gikan, is also very forceful, but it has um, elements when we strike using Gikan Ju, uh, will be like 90 degree. So we're hitting people from their blind spot, or what would be like their peripheral vision. It's like that's kind of like the the movement. So those are kind of the focuses of the of the day's events. Okay, we're gonna start off really simple and progress to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right. So we're gonna start off with uh, iki. Oh, sorry. Ikichigai, Ikichigai. Uh, so the attack, uh, if you're just standing there, this would be this is what the attacker would do. The attacker's kind of like sucker punch at first. He does this, he grabs him by this side, bap, and drills him, where he's, look, we're at that 90 degree kind of picture, you know, kind of idea. So we're just gonna do the easy grab part. Person stepping in with that right foot, grabbing that wrist, and this is about, as far as we're gonna get before we ninja to do our <laughs> superhero things. <laughs> Beaks are done from basically 90 degrees. You know? So it's very low. So that'll be your movement. Now probably most of you will be like this because your legs are gonna die throughout the course of the day. So you'll be like. <laughs> but if you wanna get the full effect of things, Get your feet, it's almost, your feet are almost going at a different direction from each other. And you're at this fairly 90-ish degree level. That gets old. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's go back to where we were. So, my partner, the assailant, the bad guy, he comes in, he grabs a hold of my wrist, and he's getting ready to do something nasty to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move towards his blind spot by moving towards the outside edge of his arm, grab across oh, into oh, the oh, pit, oh. and pull his <laughs> peck. So he grabs and he does. Move him so you get his attention away. Grab the pit and pull. That just, it's just a momentary thing. Pull. From there, shift back out, bring your hand over the top, and grab. Get your arm above the elbow, take them straight down to the ground, this way. So this is just to stop them from thinking <laughs> for a moment, okay? So he grabs, hit, pull, <laughs> my bad. Slippery little devil. <laughs> okay, we'll do it slower. Pull. 
When I pull, I'm grabbing a hold. Hand comes back down, take them down towards the ground. Question? <laughs> Got the idea? You can see it from a different angle? We're good? Yes, please. Oh, different angle? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just want to see the day. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It goes without saying. If you're working with a different partner, you know what I mean? <laughs> Girls, say like this. No. No. Right. Goes without saying, you know. Yeah, okay. All right. We're going to be a little early. So if he grabs, instead of him doing this, we're going to cheat. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Not early. We're going to be late. What was his attack going to be? Yeah. So, if we use a little thing called kaijutsu, we can actually keep our keep our distance correct. So he throws a punch oh. to this side and bring it off that side. Ow. So, we'll do that slow so you can see, as he grabs, when he goes to throw a punch, I move 45 degrees this direction using my hand to keep my teeth in my head. I shield myself. <laughs> Rotate my left foot back, which then brings my right hand over the top, and I replace it to the, to the wrist. <laughs> we'll do it from the same one. So when he grabs, shift, move. Same footwork. Whether he lets go, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is the footwork without in there. concerned about movement from it, because he's got it. So as that punch starts to come in, I move and just punch his own arm with this hand that he still has trapped, which is really kind of funny. All right. Bring it down as if you were Ganseki, but just pull it straight down. I don't want to throw him out and away. I want to keep him, keep him dito. That's the gala for here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I've had to learn how to speak another language. It's kind of funny. Where's your, where's your target on the string? Uh, right above this knob on the elbow. Right there. Alright. So sink, strike, move. Once again, moving to this 90 degree angle, then I'm gonna get to my 90, if I can squat it straight down. Down there, looks like this. Not, not super complicated footwork. If 
the person, when you're applying this and they throw that punch and you strut and you move, if you've got like a big corn fed boy or a wiry individual, Corn fed. That's, that's <laughs> well, we're all corn fed. Yeah. 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 That's racist. <laughs> there could be both people that could be corn fed. Anyways, <laughs> if they start to turn in, they can punch it. You know, I I, I have to tell you this one thing. I did this uh, Musha Dora on this guy this one time, long time ago, <coughs> at, at work, in my job, and. You know, some of you have done this where they grab a hold of the flesh and pinch him. He was a big corn fed boy from like Indiana or Illinois or something. He just yes. gut powered out of it. He just went on. He just came up on his toes and just gut powered out of it. And now we're like this. Then other bad things happened to him and we won. But it was <laughs> interesting at the moment to go, that doesn't work with all people because <laughs> they'll power out of it if they're. Anyway, so this is this is kind of what the thought process is here. So you have to things that people can't um, can't defend against are uh, joints. You can't build muscles around them. I mean, you know, they don't build up. They only go so much. I mean, you get the muscles around everything else, but joints. So as I start to do this, and he starts to move in for his his thing, I step further back and just put his knee down to the ground. You can do it from a so from the side this direction, or you can get if you can get it all the way around here to the back so you can start to just lean into it. Now, you see his toes are stuck here. And on the Achilles, that just this is a miserable experience for him. Is this good? <laughs> or you can shift by putting your knee towards the center of their back, like their butt, oh. and use your oh. 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 which is <laughs> much worse. <laughs> okay, so if they've grabbed, that did not look good at all. If they start to move, move down toward them. I get their back forward and then step on something. Oh. Heel kick. Oh. Split the uprights. Hit it. Turn. Boom. Oh. So simple. So simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Rishi right. right. moment. It's so simple. Okay. Get the idea. So use this. We're only going to do this a couple more times. So it's just move, strike. Start to do that, that person's gonna start to move on you. When they start to move on you, get deep behind them, use their knee to put them gently down towards the ground. Please keep your body weight off of them so you don't actually injure them while they're there. But use the knee or move that knee towards their butt, which gets them to arch their back. You can step on something. Just play a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna switch it off. Go. Uh, since we all know most of these techniques originated when a person had a sword on their side, the next technique is rather interesting because the setup is goofy. We're going to do a historical setup <coughs> and then we'll get to more of a modern feel for it. But the idea is for this person to control the belt. So they can't draw the weapon. Notice I use my body shield. And in the meantime, they would be doing this. Actually, because the person usually had a face mask, they would lift up that uh, the neck. No, about there. You guys know the murmurs kind of thing. Boom, boop. But attack in here. All right. So without this, I have to use the setup because the setup, it just looks stupid. Guy comes up and goes, hey, what's up? <laughs> 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 it's not, not what you would call your natural grab. More like you're asking for a date. It's one of those like, hey. That's more of those, hey, well. I don't know you quite that way yet. All right, so anyways. Uh, let's see what we'll do. So when the person grabs a hold of the belt, they're, they're grabbing with the right. 
they're punching with the left this way. All right. So you're instantaneously going to cover because you don't really know why they're doing this. I mean, most of us would be like trying to <laughs> move this thing off there because it's a little bit too much in the personal space, you know, personal area. So as you you're going to cover this, they throw the punch, shift, strike, move. Uh. He comes right back down there in front. That should have warned you this much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so shift, strike. Thumb goes into the enter, moves the body over. Hongyaku, hon this uh, hongyaku. So we know uragyaku, motegyaku, hongyaku, radio radial or primary. Okay. I'm just doing it while he still has a hold of the clothes. So it's strike, turn, hand comes in. Lean forward. <laughs> cool. Alright, so let's take it up a notch. This is it on Red Bull. <laughs> I don't even remember where we're going. Oh yeah, we're grabbing the hole. Imagine that was pretty funny, but so I try to get it down here. He's not cooperating. Okay. Strike. Try to get this. He's not cooperating. Hand goes into the eye. Start moving. Push it down. I'm bringing his shoulder to me so that I can step on his wrist and use my body weight to move his shoulder. If I need to, I can transfer this. Let him go. He's the one that got away. Strike. Push, pull the shoulder towards you. You see this movement that I'm doing with my arm here? I'm pulling this way. Use the body. You can trap it by pushing it close to the body. This way. You can yoko ruki. Keep the pressure on said arm. Then forward shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the Don't shoulders the dislocate. Don't do the shoulder roll. You'll hear the big wet sucking sound. <laughs> like when you rip a chicken wing apart. <laughs> Except the screen goes in the middle of it. <laughs> Strike. Whoops. Almost changed it up with you guys again. <laughs> I wish you'd stop. <laughs> Question? Yeah. Georgie, stop. Could you let go there, or your 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 hand is pinned when you were at the bottom there? Uh, sometimes I could. Right. Sometimes I couldn't. When I let go, it didn't. It saved my wrist from breaking. Um, but other times when he held it there, it, even if I let go, it didn't go anywhere. So the one where I rolled over on my face is when I let go. So the idea is to always work against joints. <coughs> Not these. <laughs> <laughs> Embrace these. <laughs> hey, it's <matter>. and, <laughs> uh, Yeah. So basically, you just lay on your belt. So I'm working, I started here, but because this gets floppy, unless it's stuck in there, I then utilize the thigh to push on the forearm. Because I'm, now I'm working on this, I'm working on that joint. So to make it just evil, uh, you can move your hand out unless you really want it there. You like that comfy? Yeah, I just wanted it comfy for you. Okay. Oh. 
So I'm just continuing to keep pressure on the joint. Pressure on the joint. All right, no pressure, pressure. Oh. An intimate moment. Yeah. Ribs. <laughs> so pick a joint and and exploit it. Not to the point that you injure your partner. But uh, here, practice him. <laughs> He's like, oh man! You see, you look down. You look down. When you look down, I knew it's up. You're in the belly. Ah. So, if you're down here, so you just pick a joint that you want to exploit, and then <laughs> he took the one I wanted. <laughs> no, no, no! Chip. <laughs> you have to be able to use cuffs, firearm, clip it, something. So you don't want to always have your hands tied up by doing this stuff. You see this on TV, all the time. Ah, get on the ground, whatever. Okay, you're seeing all this stuff. But you should be able to use different parts of your body. So that way your hands are free. What if he's got a friend? What if he has a friend? <laughs> <laughs> so you keep the friends. Okay. So it's your friends close and your enemies close. Work on a joint, find a joint, and exploit it for a minute. And then we'll change it up so it's nice and easy. Go! <laughs> Exactly. Here we go. That's you. 
You and me, you and me, son. Dun dun dun! Oh, so he fuck. I try to get this down. I spray that here. I push. I can't get him to go down. This way. Get on. There you go. That's it. Hi, there you go. That's fine. He's stabbing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fine. He's stabbing. Oh, uh, I was showing some video to my wife. You might have seen it, uh, where a guy gets stabbed like 13 times. It just happened this past week. It happened over in Israel. Wow. It was unbelievable to watch because everybody else stood around and did this. Like that. Meanwhile, this dude just kind of. I mean, just and every stab was a. Was that? It was amazing. You know, keep it away from the guy. Stab in the chest. Keep it away. Stab in the chest. Crazy. So, anyways, that's kind of the that's kind of the stab. I mean, if it's like the belt grab, instead of the belt grab, he is stabbing. You should always expect that anytime someone's reaching out for you, it's the same as a punch, a stab, a grab. It's all the same. All the same. So as he does that stab, shift out of the way. Move forward. You know? I'm gonna try to get this out of his out of his hand, but I can't because he's a you know, he was trying to kill me. So he's he's wanting to pull it back and stab doing this. So I'm just doing my best to be like a you know, a rodeo rider. Just hold on for that eight seconds or whatever, you know. So that's basically it. It's just Move. Strike. Try to push him down there. I'm going to break this the best way I can. I'm going to put 205 through an elbow. This joint won't survive that. And push. Where it's open. Notice I'm not doing this. <laughs> that doesn't work for a while. Find where it's open. Push down. So the whole whole thing shifts out of the way as he stabs. Use the elbow. If I have to, when I'm bringing my foot over, I'm kicking it in the back of the head with the shin, and then I just drop with my body weight. Boom! Just trying to break it out. I want to immobilize the arm, immobilize the joint, I'm using my body. Don't do that though. <laughs> That's, that would be bad. <laughs> Get all that good stuff and then I stab myself. See, you can't stab me. <laughs> all right, let's do it from another angle. Mind my own business. Said we were going to hit at 90 degree angles. Yeah. I'll do that nicer. Pop. At that point, I really don't care what we do. Do <laughs> you really want to ask that? How's your wrist? So, one of your students was asking if it really works. Yeah, that works. You do it that way. You can do it that way. You know, or you catch it that way and take it out. Because that's, but that's a bet. That's a bet. This is a bet. Hitting on the back of the hand and the wrist. Same time. Takes the knife out. That's, you got to have really good timing. So we're going to do the non really good timing. This is a, this is a old crap time. Okay. Punch. Or I use the 
elbow. First time I hit him with the point of my elbow. This is the flat. Nice and gentle. pushing with your right hand outside of their foot. You're going to take your left or right leg, you're going to swing your leg up, take their leg out, control your partner down to the ground. Do not let them just thump. That gets old. Back in the early 80s, uh, mid 80s, when we were doing, we used to do these camps. Camps. I remember starting to count during the three-day camp, how many times I picked myself up off the ground, and once we got past 700 and some, I was like, I'm done counting, because that's just a miserable idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, step and push. See how gently, so you're holding your partner up a little bit, just to try to keep them from hitting the ground. Right, so without them there, it looks like this. Step, push. first and oh look now he's got me on one of those goofy things and then he gets to have his revenge the things he's always been seeking for all these years Back of do that over a person's back that way, but we'll 
show you easier ways so that way everyone stays safe. Step and stab. Push. It's like a teeter totter. Yeah, teeter totter. <laughs> so, we're going to do the safe version for those that are working. That, okay, because, let me just, let me use you for a second. Do not lose your weight yet, or go down on your knees for a second. If your knee goes straight, you will now have knee replacement. Because they'll bend it like that. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. All right? So if you can't do this part, do it. Just move your knee out of the way. Bring it for now. Simple. Simple, simple. I mean, let's not get complicated with this. We've already, we've already hurt them with a boshi to the neck. So stab, hit. Push the knee forward if you need to. Just move your knees out of the way. Bring them down. Simple. So those that are more advanced, you can <laughs> when you put that knee in their back, put it at the small of their back as opposed to the top of their back. Because the top of the back makes it a lot harder for them to go over. Okay. Pop. Down here. <laughs> You're really enjoying this. <laughs> so, those feet were all in the air. Going airborne. Shit. So dumping them on their noggin. Seeing if their neck can support their body weight. Well, you can't. Okay, so. Okay. Start all the noise. All right. So, safe way, poke, stab, stab, easy. Okay? Hey, sir. Hi, be careful, please. Shift inside, strike the arm. Go to the left punch. Shift, strike, grab, before he gets a chance to hit with his third punch. Slight shift. Both she can to the to the uh, throat. Move in. Hold that. It's called suyoku. 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 So each knee. Oops, my bad. Try that again. <laughs> I changed the order. Here we go. Each knee. side of the left side. You're outlining the bruise, bruise right? <laughs> <laughs> the bruise will probably recruiter in that portion. <laughs> Present. Right. So you're going to work off of cut, uh, I believe it's katate uh, segan no kamai. Okay, if we want to be really traditional. All right, which means this hand is out of shoulder level. This hand protects your neck. It also protects the heart, specifically the aorta area. As he throws his first punch in, shift, strike. <laughs> Throw the second punch. Shift, strike, grab. Shift in, stab to get their head back. Both their legs, move out. Hold them. Mochido, each knee, so. Hi. Wait. Hey. How's it working? Good. Good enough. Those that have been around me for a long time know that I am. Uh, I love certain things. So. <laughs> so, throws that first one. Shift, tag, shift, tag. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
Move. Instead of the boshi to the neck, take the boshi to the inside of the thigh. Okay. So, strike, strike, this way. Now people go, well, are you lifting the leg? No, oh, I'm helping him here because it just looks that way. I mean, it's easier that way. What I'm doing, or would be doing, if I'm being straight about it, doop, bring that right over and shoot the right to the back of that knee again, and then just put his hand down in the back. Nice. At this point, you could do soccer, soccer, <laughs> Timbaland. <laughs> Do your best river dance impersonation. <laughs> See, people don't expect to get hit in the thighs. They don't expect. They expect to get hit in the head, body. So I love crushing somebody in the thighs. It just it makes me feel. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> they, never, they never expect it. So, hitting. Boom! The boshi in there. Move it around. Do whatever I need to at that point. Brilliant. Just psychs them out. Like, best one ever. This is a Geekon impersonation of it. Boom! This way. You know, just tear up the leg. Who cares? Yeah. All right, track. Sure. Not that last one, but the first one. Uh, All right, so this is the principle. Uh, if a person has their feet shoulder width apart, and they take one step forward, and you draw a line from the heel to the heel of that foot, and then just bring that heel right back, you got this little triangle, or a diamond. I say diamond, people go, well, that's just a triangle. Yeah, but it works to the back as well. One step back, same thing. So I imagine things in triangles and poles. Sounds weird, but that's how my mind works. Triangles and poles. So if I put the highest point of that person inside of that triangle, that diamond, they fall down. They can't walk, they fall down. So, just for illustrative purposes, one step forward, and then back. See that little, basically that's the area. And I can imagine that same area here. Okay, so that's his diamond. Anything outside of that diamond doesn't fall or it doesn't go down. So, easy way. Uh, we're just gonna use a person's head. <laughs> this is from old assault team kind of stuff. When you walk into a room, and you're the first guy in the room, you can't like keep everybody in the room at bay. It's not like you walk in, everybody on the ground. You over there, wait a minute, you. No, no. You, got, you pass a person off to another person. So what you do is you take your fingers, you put it right above their brow, push their head backwards, and then push the crown of their head towards the ground, and they fall down. No move. If I just push his head backwards as I walk, he steps back. Okay, we're playing by good rules. Okay, if I push up there and then push like this, He's got to bend. He had bends to my bends to my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that would be me moving in, moving into a room, and I go, get on the ground, get on the ground. And I put him here so the next guy can get him, so I can address this person over here, or whatever. All right. That's kind of the, the practical, modern day application of it. Here's why I'm telling you this is because I was watching how people were pulling people down to the ground with whatever we were doing. What were we doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> he threw a punch. Yeah, right? Is this the one we're doing? Yeah, yeah. Right? I'm living in the world. I'm Inside leg. Inside. Inside. All right, so then I move, oh, hit like this, hit that leg, Bosh and then I went like the this. Oh, yeah, my bosh is not. That's right. See? Oh. So we went like this, and I'm watching people go like 
this. Now freeze. Where's his diamond, really? There. If I pull his hand here, he adjusts that back foot before he resists me. And if I put that, he can't move his feet, so he has to go down to the ground. And slide on the ankle to zero balance. Encourages I move his ankle to the front point of the diamond, the point of the front diamond. See, there's a lot of technology going on here. Physics, so. man. He goes with that bunch. One, two, I hit. I know where his front diamond is. It's there. So after I hit here, I move that foot towards that diamond as I'm pulling this hand down towards this point. I'm putting, trying to keep everything in the diamond. If I put it outside the diamond, he doesn't fall. Hmm? Does that make sense? In, in theory. Okay, so, but here's the trick. When you do this with your partner and you're doing it slow like this, you have to make sure you don't let them break the wrist. If I break the wrist, the obviously it means break the wrist, but I'm not letting him put his hand down there to the ground. So as he's oops, sorry, as he's coming down to the ground, I move his hand out of the way so he can rock to his butt. Okay? It's all about no impact. We gotta be able to do this crap till we're like, uh, we're die. Like 80, 90. I'm leaving the 105. I mean, 105. 105. Absolutely. 105, 106, not happening. 105, no? <laughs> All right. So, hit, you know, bop, bop, hit the leg, move their knee in, bring their hand down, twix their butt. Just think of it. Put their hand in their butt crack. Pull it down towards the ground and then move it. Mm -hmm. Butt crack, move it. <laughs> butt crack, move it. That's easy. Butt crack, move it. All right, go. Okay. Yeah. Butt crack. That's the butt crack. So this one's called Sushap. Sushap. Sushap, which means water wheel. All right, so let me give you the attack. Here's what the attack looks like. The attack is right lunge, left stop, left lead, right lunge. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Right lunge, left stop, left lead, right lunge. Right lunge, left stop, left lead. Ooh, goodness gracious, let's see you do it. So he comes in with that right lunge, left stop, left lead, right lunge. So we're working on defense. So each knee, stop, cheat. So that's our, that's our starting. Each knee, stop. <laughs> There's that was, a that was solid. on the last hit. There is that large lunge back. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Huh? Lunge large one, like this, and then the last one I noticed you're kind of way out here. I tripped on my pants. Okay, so we all have to trip on our pants. Pull a couple of A little sour. <laughs> but you know, you make uh, take lemons and turn it into lemonade. So trip on the pants a little longer. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Sure. Right. Right. Practice that with your partner. All right. All right. I'll you. right lunge, left stop, left lead, right lunge. I thought we were all coming sooner or later. So from this, when he throws that punch, one ding kick. Bong, bunch, kick, attack the leg, but without putting the foot down, you're going to hit with your oh. shin into the inside of the left thigh while pulling down on the right hand. So we don't want you to pull down on your partner's right hand. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just do from uh, the last movement. Strike. I like cheating. I give me a little cross step so I can get some good power. Punt by breaking the uprights. Hit. And then let go of your partner. Let them just do a four roll at their own pace. If you can't roll at this point, I'm going to do your part. 
So I throw that last punch. Bloop! He comes in there, he gives that little kick. Boom! As he kicks that leg. All cement there. No <laughs> neck stuff. No. I like that. We'll do more time. So, that last thing. He kicks that leg, which unbalances. And I move. That's it. Okay. But, for the rest of us, strike. Kick. Strike. Pull. Kick, strike, pull. So here it is without him there. Or the camera. <laughs> 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 you gotta cut this stuff. This is gonna be this angle. The other, the other, other angle. Okay, it's one million hits from these. Yes, this is just black material. Oh, are we doing the whole thing? Whole thing? No, just the just last part. Yeah. Well, awesome. no, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go up that last punch. When he does that last punch, bam, we hit it, and we hit, and kick, and we throw, step on their hand. Oh. Never, ever let your person skitter away from you. Once their hand goes down, okay, because think about it. We all know that we should be using our hands like this, right? Yes, no, maybe? You don't get that idea. Take no shame in your game. Because right? this directs where you're going. We're good, right? So you know. I follow the knuckles. But we do knuckles, right? Knuckles hurt. So that's why we want to put, you know, think about a little small stone on the ground. Put that person's hand on the ground, and then you step on it as they start to skitter away from you. This hurts. They can't use the weapon. They can't use this to grab tools, or weapons. That's important. And it's also important for you to be able to keep your eyes up because most people don't fight by singular people thing right now. It's everybody's attacking in packs in case you haven't paid any attention. People attacking mobs. You're dealing with one and somebody comes in and punches you off the off the side. So you need to be able to keep your eyes up. So when he throws that punch. We hit, boom, and throw them down there. Step. Now, I'm purposely not putting weight on it so he doesn't jack his wrist up because we all got to work tomorrow or whatever. Oh, wait, anyway, that's Sunday. We don't have to work, it's a day for us. All right, so just move real gently. Gently. I want you to be able to find it. When we were training, when I first came up, every time we threw a person to the ground, we had to step on them. I had to step on them. Doom! Hit them down. Kind of like, we didn't do this stuff. You know, you do this in the, in the thing all the time. You throw a person down. Bam! Like that. Ah! You okay? Yeah. Come on. We never did that. We weren't allowed. Because, can you imagine beating an attacker out there? Guy comes in. Ah! Slam! You okay? <laughs> Because <laughs> you do what you train. All right? So if you throw somebody down, boom. We were simply supposed to just take one little step and move. So we get used to stepping on it. Now, if you look, do it now where we have all these cameras that see everything, you're jacked. Oh. As far as you look like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like a football player stepping on somebody. Dolphin too. Anyways, ha <laughs> 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 uh, you got it. All right. So you have to always look like it's an accident, <laughs> or you've lost balance. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. <laughs> okay. It's got to look like you didn't mean to. 
Not like you just grabbed him and hopped up into his face and around his <laughs> nose and dropped the knee into his bicep. Get up, all right? So I want you to get used to just throwing a person. Slam. Step with them. Walk away. Nonchalant. No big deal about it. All right, go. Skill builder. Skill builder. <laughs>